3.2, identified that the surface temperature of a star is related to its colour. So in 3.1 we looked at different peaks of wavelength dependent on the radia radiation of energy or the radiant energy. And this is where we're looking at something very similar. So we're looking at different wavelengths of energy in looking at whether that surface temperature of a star is related to its colour. So our star's overall colour depends on the sum of all visible colours we receive. With an effective surface temperature of approximately 5,770 5, Kelvin, the star has a plant curve that peaks at approximately 500 nanometers, which is about where the human eye is most sensitive. Look at the uh, diagram on the right hand side. The overall color is, mid, uh, is a mix and is a result of the sun. It is called a yellow dwarf. We can learn much more about the star by splitting the light into components of colour using a spectrograph. This allows us to study the distribution of light more closely and reveals um, that the simple Planck's curve is altered by the presence of spectral lines due to the absorption of characteristics wavelengths by individual elements within the outer layers of a star. This enables us to understand that the temperature and composition of a star is much more detailed and is the foundation of modern astrophysics. So, for stars, this means that there is a relationship between their temperature and their colour. Cool stars are red, while hot stars are blue. And you can see that by the blue having um, a shorter peak than the red when you're looking at the graph. Okay, and you would have learned that the shorter the peak, the, the uh, higher the energy being radiated, and that's the blue. While the red is further on than the blue, which meaning that it's um, got a temperature less that of the blue. Okay, so consequently what you need to know about this um, slide is basically what I've highlighted at the bottom. However, also knowing that the distribution of light more closely reveals a simple Planck's, Planck's curve, which is altered by the presence of spectral lines by the characteristic wavelengths of individual elements um, on the outer layers of stars.